Hey, what's going on everyone? This is iReviews back with another video and finally the jailbreak for iOS 11.3.1 has been released to the public and now you can have all the awesome tweaks on your device. So here I have my top 10 tweaks compatible with iOS 11.3.1. Now it's really early right now, just a few tweaks are compatible with iOS 11.3.1. I know there are better tweaks that should make a top 10 list, but for now, these are the ones that are compatible. So let's get started with the first one. We're starting off with a classic one, it's called Cylinder. I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys know about it. Cylinder will add these awesome animations when you swipe through the pages on the home screen of your iPhone. Now to change those animations, you will need to go to the settings of your device, go to Cylinder. Here we'll have a switch where you can enable or disable the tweak. And then you have here the different effects. So you can pick different effects right here. You can also pick more than one effect and create a different formula that will add like a crazy animation on the home screen. So you can see if I choose two different animations right there, you can see how it will change the animation of the icons on the home screen. Real CC, this is a must have tweak for iOS 11. As you probably know, of course, on the control center of iOS 11, you cannot completely turn off the Wi-Fi or the Bluetooth of your device. It will disconnect, but they are still on. You will need to go to the settings to turn them completely off, but of course, Jailbreak makes everything more awesome and with real CC you can just completely turn it on or off You can see just tap there and it will completely turn off the Wi-Fi the same It will do the same with the Bluetooth as well Sugarcane is a pretty cool tweak for the control center What it does is that it will add percentages at these sliders on the control center So we have the volume and the brightness slider and you can see the percentage right there It will change as I change the volume of my device is really really cool it doesn't have anything to configure all you have to do is install it the next tweak is called spring plus 11 and it will give you access to internal settings of your device so you just go to your settings go to spring plus 11 and right here you will see different categories right here so you have lock screen springboard you have the status bar control center and everything else so for example if you go to, to the lock screen you will have here different settings that you can change on the lock screen of your device for example here you can disable wake for power connected so when you plug your device to, to charge it won't wake up the screen you can hide the dots you can disable the camera you can do all that stuff from here you have the same for the springboard so you can for example completely remove the status bar or remove the background of the dock and you will have like the same things for all the categories you can change different settings on those categories Icon Renamer. This is a pretty cool tweak that will allow you to change the name of any app on the home screen of your device. It's very easy to use. All you have to do is just go to the edit mode and once you're on the edit mode, just tap the icon to change the name and you can see from here, you can go ahead and just apply any name that you want to that icon. You can do the same with all the icons, the stock apps, as well as third party apps. Zeppelin, this tweak will allow you to change the carrier name on the status bar with an icon that you like. So you go to the settings of this tweak, you enable it right here, then you go to theme and here we'll have like different logos that you can add instead of the carrier name right there on the status bar of your device. Of course, if you go back here, you can also add carrier text. What this means is that you can go ahead and change the name of the carrier to any name that you want. Swipe for more is a tweak for the Cydia app. It's really, really cool. It makes it really easy for you to install or uninstall packages on Cydia. I really use this all the time. Every time I jailbreak your device, this is one of the first tweaks that I install. So all you have to do here on the package is swipe like that. You can go ahead and remove it, reinstall it, put it to queue right here. It's pretty awesome, really easy to use. Or if you go here, to the search or to the changes and you want, an, an, you want to install a, a tweak all you have to do is just swipe like this click here and you can install a tweak easily just like that unlock vol is a tweak that will allow you to change the volume of your device directly from the lock screen without even unlocking your device so you can see here from the lock screen of my device i can still go ahead and change the volume without even unlocking my device double cut allows you to easily add text like for example your email simply by pressing or double pressing or triple pressing 
a key on the keyboard of your device. So here I'm on the notes app. I want to add my email right here. All I have to do is just tap and hold the I right there, release it, and you can see it will add the email. So all you have to do is just go to the settings of this tweak and you can just tap here, add snippet and just go ahead and add the key to which you have to tap or double tap or triple tap and then the expand result right here. Just add the result right here, click save and then you can use that key to add that text. Dark messages is a tweak for the iMessage app. What it does is that it will add a dark theme to the iMessage app. You can see here everything is black. It looks really, really awesome, especially at night if you're texting or doing something here on the iMessage app. This will be really convenient. The dark mode really makes it look way better and also easier to use at night or on dark environments. So that is it for this video guys, thank you for watching, I will be uploading a ton of videos on all the tweaks that will be compatible, so make sure you subscribe if you haven't already to not miss any of those videos. Also leave a like in this video if you enjoyed it, and I will see you guys on the next one.